Hey guys, let us take your back again with another video. So this video is going to be a quick and simple guide on how to stream your Nintendo Switch to your PC without a capture card. So in this video I'll be using the USB method, but to set up the Wi-Fi method is pretty simple too. You just got to follow the steps and add your IP address and you're done. It's the same thing pretty much, but without the USB cable and the USB cable is less laggier and it just runs so much more smoother in my opinion when testing it. So yeah, I'll show you how to get this going from here. So. What you first want to do is you want to go onto the Discord server over here. And as you can see, we are in the LT Discord server right here. And what you want to do is you can join it from the link in the description. You want to verify. Then you want to go scroll down under switch links and you're going to click switch link right here. Then you want to click this link right here. Once you click this link, you're going to be brought up to this page over here where the latest version is going to be up right now. It's version 6.0 as of right now so what you want to do is whatever OS you're using I'm using Windows so we're gonna press the Windows we're gonna download this one right here or if you're on Mac you download this one but I'm on Windows so I'm gonna download this one once you download your client for that the next thing you want to download from here is you want to go download sysdvr.zip now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have those downloaded and we're gonna have to extract them so these are the four files we're going to have. So these are your zip files and these are going to be your extracted files. So let's start with the sysdvr folder. From here what you want to do is you want to connect your Nintendo Switch to your computer and you just want to drag and drop these to the root of your SD card and if it asks to replace any items you just press yes replace them. From there what you want to do is, depends on your client, this is the Windows one. So we're going to click Windows and what we're going to do is we're going to press sysdvr client. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. So first, it's going to automatically show this thing where it's the stream both. What you first want to do is you're going to click USB driver. So we're going to click this and we're going to click install. We're going to be brought up to this default thing. We're going to press yes to install it. And it's going to say it's installed. So that's pretty much it for the computer side of things and the switch. So now I'll go on the switch and show you how to set it up on the switch. And we'll go back on the computer and I'll show you what to do from there. So here we are on our Nintendo switch. What you want to do is you want to go into the album or your homebrew menu and as you can see we're over here if you did all the steps correctly once you're here you should just scroll by and you should eventually see sysdvr and here it is right there sysdvr settings so we're going to press this now if you're using network mode you want to press that and press enabled but we're going to be using usb mode so i'm going to press this and then what I want to do from here is I want to press set current mode as default on boot. So I'm going to press A on that. Then I'm going to press save and exit. Now, once you do that, you want to go get your USB-C cable and you just want to plug it into your switch. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go back on the PC and the rest of the steps are going to be on the PC and I'll show you what to do from there. We're back on the PC now. So since we're using USB mode, and in my opinion, it works so much better, and it's just so much more smoother, we're just going to press USB mode, and as you're going to see, your switch pops up right here. So if it doesn't do it, press refresh device list, but it should show up. So we're just going to press this, and now it's going to say, enter a game on your console to continue. So I'm going to open up Mario Kart 8, and I'm going to press open it, and we're just going to wait for this to work. Let's give it a second, and we can full screen this real quick. It's still loading on my switch, so that's why it's all black right here. So we'll wait for this to load. As you can see, if you press this, there it is. You can hear the game audio, and you can see Mario Kart 8 here. If you press this, you can press screenshot, record it. You can record your screen over here and everything. So I'm just going to press A, and I'm just going to wait for this to finish loading up. Mario Kart! So the audio also plays on the Switch console itself, and it works on here. So, as you can see, I'm over here, I'm just going down and up. And it's just a quick and easy way to stream your Switch. So I press the home button, that's why it just froze right now. So if I press the home button, Ben, let's see if it works. And we're back up here. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple guide. I hope this video helped you. If you guys wanted to learn how to record your gameplay on your Nintendo Switch without using a capture card, this is a really good way to do it. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can join the Discord server. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And goodbye.